All right, guys. So we have the opening song trailer for Atelier Riza, which I'm super, super excited for. I've been a long time fan of this series since the PS2 era, Atelier Iris, Manakamiya, and all the way through PS3 and PS4 and Nintendo Switch. So we have the opening song trailer, which we're going to take a look at. Atelier Riza drops October 29th on ps4 nintendo switch and on steam for those of you guys who want to buy it uh unfortunately i just got confirmation that the collector's editions or limited editions are sold out through nis america so you can only buy the standard version but i um koei tecmo did did uh tweet out that there's a digital deluxe version available which includes a whole bunch of different skins for the said characters so Without further ado, let's take a look at this because I'm super excited to freaking just even watch this. I did hit the play button, right? I did, okay. Hold on, I'm sorry guys. There, that's better. Hold on, hold on. Can we just, just admire for a, a second here? Like, Ryza. Like, just... Super thick Ryza. That, that's all. So he's going to be a mage user. <laughs> Whoever that is, she's going to be badass. Not because of like, her guns, but she just looks like a badass person. Okay, so that's Ryza's childhood friend. There's always a childhood friend. Always. There's always that, like, okay, there's the main character, which is the titular character, and then you have the main character's childhood friend. Always, always, always with them. And then a lot of the other characters, too, in these in these games, like this dude right here, a lot, a lot of them are also, they're, they're either raised in the same village or they know their family members or something along the lines. So he joined, he's probably going to be like her bodyguard or something like that. And this, this kid right here, again, is probably a mage user or magic user. And he, most likely he's a childhood friend on top of that as well. And he got smacked by <laughs> So I don't know if those other characters, I mean, they might be the villain. There's usually, the cast is usually fantastic. So, okay, right here. All right, so we have six characters. So it looks like these two, or well, this one, the chick up here, who seemed like she might be a villain, she's probably one of the characters that joins you later on. She might start off as kind of an antagonist and then joins you. Um, I don't know who this character is over here yet, but these three, or these four, four, I should say, are the ones that they've been showing. This is her childhood friend. This is Ryza. These are... The other two dudes right here. Dude, I can't wait for this game. It, uh, let me finish. Let me finish. Like, the music is... Oh, the music is always so good for the intros in these games. Always. Like, super hype for the music in these games. Okay, so let's pause this right here really quick. Okay, so... By the way, follow Koei Tecmo over on Twitter. Do that. And, um, okay, so just to point out a couple things here. There, Okay, most of these, I know I said okay like five times. I'm just excited for this game. I'm sorry, guys. Atelier games are JRPGs, and they are turn-based RPGs. They're made by Gust, um, Gust Koei Tecmo. And Gust games are usually 
I say usually I, I like 90% of them are turn based. And I say 90% because you have which I, was this Gus? Yes, this was Gus because you have Artinelico Koga, which was not a turn based RPG. That was more on the lines of Star Ocean or Tales of series. So you had like uh, full range of motion and everything like that. Um, but it's a turn based RPG and usually a very, very uh, good, fun cast of characters. And like there there's a lot of humor in these games there's a lot of um adult themes and and when i say adult themes like they make fun of a, adult themes i guess you could say is the best way to put it because most of the time the main characters are underage and then they have like there's always an adult character in the party who always gets drunk or like does does something that an adult would do and then just kind of just takes it overboard with the main characters so you know, there's there's always a lot of good humor in these games, and which is one of the one of the biggest charms of them. Now, one of the biggest things I see in this in these type of games, or in this game in particular, is the fact that this game looks like it's going to be a little bit of a divergence from the prior series. Like this game, to me, I I won't know until I actually get a chance to play it, but. To me, this game seems like it's going to be more open world aspect because prior games, you have a map and then you have to like, you go on the map in the different places, but this game just seems like it's going to be more open world. And I hope it is just because it'd be a nice divergence from the prior games and to give a little bit of a more, um, just more of an upgraded different feel to it. Not saying that all games would have to fit that formula moving forward, but I mean, if they did sequels to this game, because typically they do generation sequels. And when I say generation sequels, so you have, like, for example, just because I have this right next to me, and it's relevant because this, because the upgraded port of this is coming out anyways. So this is uh, Atelier Escon Lodgy. So this game takes place in the Dusk Saga. The Dusk Saga started with Atelier Aisha. Then it went to Eskan Lodgy, and then it went to Shally. Um, so with those three games, those three games are in the Dusk Trilogy. And the Dusk Trilogy, by the way, is getting a re-release, um, which is going to be the DX version of the game. But I was using that as an example because prior to that, we had the Arlen Trilogy, which then became a four-game series, which is, what is it, Quad Quadrilogy? Quadrilogy? Something like I forgot. I forgot what it is. But it became four games with the release of Atelier Lulua. Uh, and so games are usually in that kind of aspect. So you have the Atelier Iris series, Atelier, uh, well, then you have the Arlen trilogy, then you have the Dusk trilogy, and then um, I, I forgot what the, the next one was, but, uh, but you get the idea. So if they do three games in this series, usually they keep the formula the same, they just improve upon the said formula. And I hope that they do that with this game moving forward. I, like, I'm so excited for this game. So excited for this game. This is also, also to note, this is the first game in the series that is getting a worldwide release at the same at the same time. So it's usually the Japanese version gets released first, and then we get a global version later on, which usually takes like a year. But in this case, it's a worldwide release all at the same time, which is why we just got Atelier Lulua, and now we have this one getting released shortly after. So super excited um i appreciate you guys watching make sure you give a follow to koei tecmo over on twitter and um make sure you hit the like button subscribe if you guys are new and i'll catch you all later you guys have a great rest of your day good game guys